One week before I was shot, I was visited by the 54th Infantry Battalion. They were asking questions to my staff about uh, my daughter, how much money was I making, where, where am I now? And on that day I was shot, I took my daughter and her cousin home. After eating dinner, I went outside to feed the dog. But I was shot. It sounded like thunder. I fell to the ground. It hit my spinal cord. I just couldn't move when I was on the ground. My brother in law came out, who went to bring me to the hospital. Yeah, I really thought I was going to be dead. My name's Brandon Lee. I was a volunteer for the Ifugao Peasant Movement before being shot by the 54th Infantry Battalion, uh, State Security Forces. I was living in the Philippines for 10 years. Uh, I went to the Philippines to help indigenous peoples there for their human rights and to defend their land, life, and resources. For the work I was doing as a community journalist and as a human rights defender, I was under surveillance. We have been harassed, intimidated, threatened um, with death threats. Because of my work, I was shot uh, August 6, 2019. Critical pa rin ang kondisyon ng Chinese-American national na si Brandon Lee. Binaril ito ng apat na beses sa kanilang bahay sa Lagawi, Ifugao noong August 6. May tama ito sa likod, muka at braso. We're just taking it one day at a time. Uh, there were activists and friends and family who kept me under their watch and they protected me the whole time I was in the hospital. Oh, I'm very thankful for them, for keeping me alive and for doing what they can to help me. I went through eight cardiac arrests. I had to have an operation on my trach, so I was connected to a ventilator to keep me alive and breathing. Oh, I'm very grateful that my family came and they stayed with me and helped me through this process. They've been my rock. Um, I couldn't have done this without my wife. Well, the anti-terror bill will create an anti-terror council. And that council, composed of military men, will determine if you are a suspect of terrorism, then they can jail you up to 24 days. And also, if you're found guilty, you can be put into prison for life. Also, there's widespread uh, surveillance that they can do to you for up to 90 days. 
and this is all legalized. And more people will be found guilty under the military brand. Those who are like me, environmentalists, human rights defenders, or community journalists, an activist or ordinary person can be found as being a terrorist just from speaking your mind. Anything that you say against the government can be considered terrorism. So really this takes away several li liberties and democracy. I'm not down yet, so I'll still continue to fight. I continue to speak out and lend my voice whenever I can, in whatever capacity. Sadly, more people have been locked up than tested in the third day's lockdown. And we call on everyone to support and defend to press freedom. You should not support the anti-terror bill because it will take away your civil liberties. And with this bill, it will legalize everything that happened to me, uh, including the shooting. No one should be shot at. To the Filipino people back home, continue to fight back. The anti-terror bill, it's unconstitutional. People shouldn't be afraid. People should act now. They should take to the streets. They should take to online protests. Uh, if you care about your fellow people, you should not support the anti-terror bill.